I'm Terry and I'm a cashier. Come on, little girl. You want to go inside? Okay. I like cats because I do feel that they're very entertaining. I always thought the more the merrier. I'm Elaine, and Terry is one of my very best friends. Terry has nothing. She's not into shoes and jewelry. She hoards animals. I'm Dave, and Terry is my mother. Back when I moved out in 2005, I knew she was taking in cats that were outside on the farms. If it was cold out, her warm hearts, oh, come on in, you know, and I knew this was happening, but I let it go. I thought she could control it. I've had quite a few losses. The first one was my father. My mother's dad died of a heart attack right in front of her. She didn't know what to do at that age. She didn't know how to call 911. I felt I was the one that caused that. So I think later on in my years, having this many cats was a need for me. I'm just so afraid of death that, you know, I always try to keep things alive. This is uh, the refrigerator. When my first cat got killed, I put him in here because I wanted to get him cremated. I probably have in frozen and refrigerated cats between maybe 75 to 100, if not more. She thought she was gonna get money to have them all cremated, but that never happened. I just feel so awful. I'm a failure. <laughs> and that's how my whole life has been. <laughs> My name is Patricia Norris. I'm a veterinarian that works in the area of veterinary forensics. People will hoard animals for lots of different reasons. Some people fear that if they don't save the animals that they will be euthanized. So what they don't see is the suffering that they inflict on these animals when they keep collecting them but can't care for them. I'm Matt Paxton, I'm extreme cleaning specialist. You have tons of fecal dust. It's gonna be mandatory for us to wear full face masks. This is an extremely dangerous house. Oh no, 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 no. It's breaking my heart, really, to see them go. Who is it? <laughs> Which one is it, Mom? Arthur. When Arthur came out, my mom kind of lost it. She loves the cat, always around her, probably sleeps with her. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. I really am. She's losing some of her friends. I love you, sweetheart. Once we catch the cats, we will assess them. The ones that are in distress will either be euthanized immediately or treated, and then they will be moved to the Humane Society. I think news travels fast with cats, and after the first room, they're all hiding. We got all the little kittens out, but the adults were very frightened. They're getting offensive, and some of them are actually getting a little aggressive. Crap, now they're going in the closet. No more than like 30 pounds, okay? okay.
What we were doing was putting the refrigerated animals into biohazard bags. We're actually going to take these animals and have them cremated. Nice. The bunny. Well, this is just flat roadkill. She's just scooping them up in the leaves. Not just cats, chipmunks, squirrels. It's a cardinal. Oh my God. She's going around and collecting all the dead that she can find. This is horrific. I mean, this is awful. Is it illegal? No, but it's horrific. It might be really good for Terry to see the physical damage she's done. I'm Dr. Robin Zazio. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist, and I specialize in OCD and compulsive hoarding. Very important that she do this personally. She put them in the refrigerator. She needs to pull them out. OK, my poor babies. Let's get Percy out of there. Oh, Percy. It was right there in her face. She has got to face the reality. My Percy, look at your poor, beautiful baby. Oh, Lord, help me now. Please, please help me. Stay with it, Terry. I know it's tough. You're doing great. I'm not worthy at all to be here anymore. Terry? Yeah, no, I'm not. Yes, you are, Terry. None of that talk, okay? You're doing the you're doing the right thing now. That's what you have to focus on. That is liquid cat juice. Oh, we can tell it's animal. This is awful to watch. Not only am I watching a person lose it completely. Lord, please forgive me. But the backdrop behind that is a bunch of dead liquid cats. First off, you look beautiful. I love your haircut. <laughs> I do. Thanks. I don't want to set the expectations too high. I mean, the, this was one of the toughest we've done. There wasn't actually much trash in the house. All there was was dead cats, live cats, and poop. We had a bio company come in here and do extreme sanitation. And upstairs, it's still not safe. Okay. The reality is you need somewhere to live. Okay. So we fixed one room that will let you live here. I want this to be kind of your new fresh start. OK. And when we prove that we can live in a healthy environment with no cats, then let's worry about the next level. OK. All right. Do you want to go see it? Sure. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh. Get in here. Get in here. Oh. Terry was blown away. She really loved all the white, bright colors. Oh, oh my God. It's kind of an no. efficiency apartment. Okay. Oh my God. This is a fridge for food, food only. No cats of any kind go in that refrigerator. Definitely. Okay, this is strictly for food and medicine. Okay. Oh my God. Oh. Oh, isn't that beautiful? We have honored your desire to have those cats cremated, but there's still a decision. I knew that Terry was going to want to keep the ashes. However, I thought that it was in her therapeutic interest to let go of them once and for all. Ultimately, I wasn't sure what she was going to do. Oh my God. It's up to you. The decision to actually let the ashes go was definitely a hard one. Hey, babies, be free. <laughs> she 
actually dump the ashes into the river. I like that decision a lot because a lot of those cats did come from around here. Um, they're wild, and they're meant to be in the wild. See how beautiful. Look at that. And just they're see they're going now. Free. There's many people who are going to be angry over what Terry did. She's an animal hoarder, and she wasn't able to dig herself out on her own. I'm just happy that she accepted our help. Therefore, no more cats will suffer. For being a fan of hoarders and subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.